In this particular animation, what I would like to do is explain how we determine the temperature of a star based on the wavelengths that come off that star. But before we do that, we need to understand a little bit about what the black body curve is. Now in this case, if I increase the temperature of a black body, such so like this, you will notice that what we get is that an object is emitting radiation across a whole range of wavelengths, starting from the radio microwave and infrared right through to the ultraviolet. And you get a characteristic curve. Now if you increase the scale, it becomes more obvious. And you'll see that it literally actually increases intensity as we go into the smaller wavelengths and then, then suddenly drops off in the ultraviolet range. Now Wien's law is a relationship that establishes the temperature versus the wavelength of the greatest intensity of the radiation coming off that particular body. So in this particular case, we have an object that is roughly at 5,500 Kelvin. And in this case, the greatest intensity is roughly in a wavelength that is consistent with a green color. And so although this particular object, in this case, it is a star, is giving off all forms of radiation, ranging pretty, as you would expect, infrared as heat, but also light, and also some ultraviolet over on this side here, its greatest intensity as it is at a wavelength roughly in the middle of the visible spectrum. As a result, the actual color that you would perceive is pretty much an even amount of all the colors in the rainbow, ranging from the reds to the greens to the blues, and as a result, the star will appear white hot. Now, if we lower the temperature of the star, and in this case, or the object, in this case, we lower it to roughly 3000 degrees, and we will have to adjust the scale so the graph becomes more prominent. You will notice that the greatest intensity is now in the infrared range. It's a longer wavelength, and a longer wavelength, according to Wynne's law, means a lower temperature. Yes, it's giving off visible light as well, but most of it is in the infrared range. And the greatest intensity of the visible uh, wavelengths is the red, hence the star appears reddish in color. And we associate a red star with a cooler star. Now, similarly speaking, if we increase the temperature of the star, or the black body to be precise, up to around 9,000, and again, we'll have to adjust the scale accordingly, you'll note that although there is still infrared coming off this star, there is still ultraviolet coming off a star, and in the visible range, you can clearly see that the, the greatest intensity is pretty much in the ultraviolet range. And the greatest intensity in terms of visible light is in the, the violet blue range. As a result, although the star is giving off wavelengths right across the visible spectrum, the greatest intensity is in the blue, and hence there will be a bluish tint to the star. And as a result, a smaller wavelength in the greatest intensity contributes to a higher temperature in that case. And that basically is a, an explanation of Wynne's law in relation to the black body curve.